So today we embark on a journey of self-awareness using the RAIN method to navigate through challenging emotions and experiences. This meditation is designed to help you build a stronger connection with your inner world while fostering mindfulness and self-compassion. RAIN stands for recognize, allow, investigate, and nurture. So we'll start with some box breathing to get you into it. Uh, then we'll do a body scan and then we'll move into the RAIN. So follow along if you're at home. So start by finding a comfortable position, either seated or lying down. Close your eyes. Don't close your eyes if you're driving. Um, take a deep breath, in and out. So we'll inhale for a count of four. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, Four. And we should keep doing that for a couple more. Hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, and hold. If you get confused, just go back. You can count on the steering wheel or on your hands. If your brain wanders, go back to that deliberate counting or acknowledge your thoughts, say thank you. I'm gonna go back to counting now. I'm gonna focus on my breath. How does that feel coming in? How is that, that oxygen nourishing me? Now you may wanna pause, pause the recording and just keep doing this until you feel calm, until your mind stops racing and make it an active practice, okay? Don't just listen to my voice, do the counting yourself. And we'll move into a body scan. So I want you to gently shift your attention to your body. Begin feeling the points of contact between the body and the surface beneath you, maybe on your seat, on your bed, maybe your car seat. Take a moment to acknowledge any tension or sensations you might be experiencing. Just take a breath. And you can just do kind of natural breathing, however feels that your body tell you when you need to breathe. And we're gonna start at the bottom of your feet, breathing into your feet, and you can give it a little wiggle. Helps you notice any sensations. Breathe into your feet and out. Moving up to your calves, up the back of your body. Breathe in, wiggle, wiggle, and out. Moving up to your glutes, your thighs, breathing in. Keep moving your way up, up your back. Wiggle, wiggle. And taking time, breathing in, noticing any tightness or relaxation, any parts that feel any pain or numbness, or maybe some darkness. All the way up to your head, your arms, your chest, down the front of your thighs, your puku down your thighs, your shins, and back to your feet. And you can repeat that as many times as you need to get into contact with your body. This can take a little bit of practice. How you feeling yeah? Yeah, you touch your body? Feel, feel yeah, feel Yeah, awesome. So now we're gonna move into RAIN method. So, and just checking in with your body to feel what feels tight, maybe some tension. What, what came up? Recognize that in your body. So put your hand there, place your hand maybe where you're feeling that. And we'll move to allow. So this can feel really uncomfortable. So we're gonna sit with those emotions. Um, and maybe if you're if you're up for it, you could name them out loud. So I, I try for five, because it really makes you think. Um, or you can keep it inside. You can whisper that to yourself or out loud, whatever works for you. Maybe it's shame. Maybe it's... Maybe it's pain, maybe it's grief, maybe you feel lonely, maybe you feel disgust. I usually name an emotion out loud for me and then I sit with it, take a deep breath into that, say I'm feeling lonely. Maybe I'm feeling something in my face, okay, put my hand there. And this feels highly uncomfortable if we're not used to it, we're not used to sitting with our emotions, we're used to pushing them away. You're doing good, all right? Yeah, I'm good. Nice. So, it's coming up. Cool. Okay. 
Now we move to investigate, okay? What does this vulnerable part need right now? And I think about whatever, whatever the strongest emotion is or feeling or discomfort or tension in your body and breathe into that. What does it need? Maybe it needs a gentle touch on the shoulder. Maybe it needs a comforting word. I see you. I love you. My favorite buzzword for me, I'm proud of you. Even doing this, I'm feeling a little bit of tightness in my in my mm. chest, in my throat, just even when saying that. It's funny when you said the proud one. Mm. It's like, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. So say that to yourself, either in your head or out loud. I'm proud of you. You can use your name. And you know what your buzzword is, right? And this is some true vulnerability with yourself when you, I think, acknowledge that of, yeah, uh, I'm scared, I feel alone, I'm anxious. And maybe if you need some extra help, you can invite a spiritual entity if that's your thing. Or maybe for me, sunshine is so huge. So if I'm out, outside in the sun, which I usually am, okay, invite that sunshine, that warmth, just to invade that, that area, that, that tightness, what would that look like? Maybe it's a picture, maybe you see darkness. Could you invite the sunshine and could you crack open your chest, imagine it, and imagine that sun coming in. And then we move to nurture. So how can you nurture this in yourself? And I start with the phrase, this makes sense. And it makes sense because it makes sense that I'd be feeling uncomfortable right now because I'm not used to telling me that I'm proud because I think that someone else should have told me that. It makes sense that I'm worried about my presentation at work or my pay rise that I've got a meeting for tomorrow, or whatever it is for you. What do you what do you need to hear? And a gentle whisper of reassurance. It's okay. We can think about a friend, some entity, sunshine, and bring that into the situation. Imagine imagine your grandma hugging you or your close friend or and then as we come to the end of the practice, just take awareness of how you feel how grounded you feel, how calm you feel, maybe what positive emotions you're feeling, name a couple in your head, I'm feeling really calm, grounded, I'm feeling in control. And you can open your eyes when you're ready and come back to the present. How was that? Yeah, it was really nice actually. Yeah.